Open semi-final played one. Convent Jaguars against Briars Rugby. South Wales, Bryce, Women's Rugby and Convent Jaguars, the team from Kota Kinabalu. Last minute addition to the tournament. Didn't have much time to prepare for the tournament. And also a very inexperienced team. But one of the things that uh, they, they, they can take from this tournament is the learnings from playing with experienced players and experienced teams such as the Eagles again, uh, and uh, other experienced teams one, and, uh, and, and also uh, the national teams. Long kick, but didn't go out. And... Uh, a good intercept, right place at the right time. Early try by the Bryce. Only took them a few seconds. Oh, great celebration. Try as well. <laughs> and that's the thing that we want to see. Find things like this in this kind of tournament. Conversion was uh, short. Score stands at five priors and a Jaguar nil. You see again, read the pass really well. And this is their main player, Brainer Raymond. And running at the sidelines. Oh no, the ball went up. Ashley's caught. Probably the one that stepped on the chalk. Tackle by the Bryce. Slanting uh, running. Offside says the ref. Coming a long way from. Uh, Australia, of course, the Briars definitely wants to go into the plate final. This game is definitely important for them. The Briars, they were defeated by Rugby India in the first game. Kazakhstan in the second game. But uh, they managed to Register a win against the Labuan Wipers in the last game of Pool C 31 5. And Emily Eden, crown half for Briars. Now she managed to cross the line, heading on another five. No try celebration this time. shown by both teams as they are just sitting side by side at the stands and 
conversion drifts to the left. Score stands at 10 nil for the Bryce. Monique McGillen. McGillen. Bit high, probably she slipped during the tackle. Slipped up and uh, now. Convent Jaguars. Trying to attack the line of uh, the Bryce. Knock on. Scrum to the Bryce. Another mistake by I know the Briars just now the mistake was made by the Jaguars. It's about eleven forty eight PM here in Sandakan Sabah. And the sun is on top of their heads. The players playing in this kind of weather definitely hard for both teams. Sail with the Jaguars. Holding on. Penalty to the Briars. Another chance for them to add another five to their tally of ten. Scrappy pass. But still managed to gather the ball. Dummy switch and... Running out, stepping back in. Haley Morris crossing the try line for the Briars. Too easy for the Briars. Under the post, successful adding on another two points to, uh, for the Bryce, making it 17. Bryce Rugby and Convent Jaguars still searching for the first points of the game. There you go, that, that, that dummy switch and to the slanting run, fix her running line, straighten up. Too easy for Bryce. And the half minute horn, uh, half time horn has been summoned, has been sounded. Emily Eden just now poaching the ball and Brenna, Brenna Raymond. All she needs to do was just run, crossing the chalk for Bryas. <laughs> the loudest team in uh, Borneo Sevens. As you can see with the celebrations and also the music that they turn on every time to ensure that they have a good time in this tournament. Prana Raymond. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw the conclusion of the first half of the game between Conlon Jaguars and Brian Raymond Rugby. The unofficial score at half time.
Riders Women's Rugby 24, Convent Jaguars 0. Okay, thank you, Azan. And the following song, like to dedicate Current to the stands at 24 nil. This song is for you. Some of these girls are still in school, or all are still in school, and they are definitely um, stoked to be in this tournament. Though, of course, uh, they didn't get any win so far, but the experience that they are gaining from these kind of tournaments is definitely good. Right, second half is going to be underway. Jaguars with the kickoff. Good tackle by the convent girls. Great handoff and a great power shown by Kate Matafi. And Kate just striding through, getting five points, going back <laughs> to her stand. Followed closely by Tyler Watson. Oh, and <laughs> wasted two points as the ball hit hits the post. The score stands at 29-0 for the Bryce. Kit Matafi started the run in their own half. After that effort of uh, taking her down is probably a bit hard for the Jaguar girls. Really long kick by the Jaguars, led by the Briars. Penalty to the Jaguars. Player um, falling down. Kicking it back. Checker without the ball and <laughs> she's been given the yellow card. Taylor Watson. She's all right and she can continue. Taking a tap and go. Now, show and pass. And stepping out. Having the last say. After being tackled without the ball. Adding on another five for the Bryce.
Briars 34, Convent Jaguars nil. And looks like the Briars are going to go into the plate finals. Another long kick by the Briars. Is it going to go through? Oh, no. Being picked up. Then tackle. Well, if the ball was uh, being touched in the in goal area, should have been a free kick for Convent Jaguars. Yeah, so now we're having a discussion between the ref who is supposed to be the right call, and there you go. The ball is being brought back by the Convent girl. Convent Jaguars and Yes, yeah, Scrum Bryce. They're really a playful bunch, the Bryce. But on the field, really competitive side. Less than two minutes to play in the second half. The Briars leading, having a comfortable lead in front with 34 points. And uh, it was really easy. Pick and go by Brainer Raymond. From putting the ball into the scrum. Using the short side. And uh, the Jaguars did anticipate that the attack was going to come from the blind side. Adding on another five points to the Bryce. That's a really good kick by Bryce. Now stepping through. Dancing her way through. Still with the ball. Gabriel Buchon. Gabriel Buchon. Forty-four points for the Bryce. Conversion goes low with the last play of the game. Another mistake by the Jaguars. Trying to intercept the ball. And tap and go by the Bryas. Now she saw the gap. She took the opportunity. 49 Bryas. Ending the game on a high. Oh no, that didn't go in.
trying to take the conversion from the back. And that's it. That's the conclusion of the second half of the semi-finals plate match between Convent Jaguars and Bryas with the Bryas hammering through the finals 49 nil. Really one-sided game for the Briars. And after this, we're going to see the second semi-final uh, uh, plate match. And it's going to be between Laban Wipers and Uzbekistan Rugby. Meanwhile, the semi-finals, uh, men's, okay, is going to be between uh, SSTMI, Tsunami and Singapore National Development Team. And the second semi-final plate is going to be between Uzbekistan Rugby and All for One from Thailand. In the semi-cup in the women's category, the Eagles NZ7s uh, will go against Rugby India.